you are helping a lot in smart contract audits and we both help in education if it's like through twitter through the core through youtube uh, i i do think let me know what you think about it but that smart contract auditing is like it's it's the beginning but like traditional cybersecurity, there are going to be more professions and more professionalities in Web3 security. For example, once such hack happens, I had a pleasure to talk with Peter. I don't know if you know Peter. He's the founder of a Block Threat of the newsletter. And he's also team lead in Coinbase in security. He builds security teams in Coinbase. A very smart and nice guy. And we talked about like another profession that will emerge that he and his team is now searching for. People that will do incident response and forensics, like in traditional cybersecurity, their hack is happening in a network, They're a team come of three people with laptops to collect evidence and try to find uh, the attacker to remedy the network. And same things need to happen now in Web3 security. For example, okay, do we? How do we freeze the funds? How do we block? How do we track the attacker? Maybe decompile his attacker contract, the byte code. Try to understand his technique. Maybe get from the RPC provider his IP address. You know everything, every evidence that will lead to catch the attacker and eventually let basically force him to bring the, back the money, like happened with the Euler uh, finance yeah. hack, the two hundred million dollars, and it's super fascinating fascinating talk and i think the more time passed there will be more professions and more specialities in the in the space that will help secure the space even more apart from smart contract auditing let me know what you think about it yeah i agree 100 percent i have been following uh, the block trade newsletter and uh, peter i have watched some of his interviews he seems really smart and really like what he is doing i think uh, there is there is certainly a great need for people that do on-chain tracking, on-chain monitoring, uh, as you said, incident response. This is something that I actually spoke about in the in this webinar that I did related to Web3 security here in Bulgaria. I actually spoke a little bit about incident response and how it should be a, a part of the security pipeline of a, of a DeFi protocol. I know why Earn have, have this uh, incident response template where they have they have just um, a template of how to do it, a blueprint of how to do incident response proper, properly. And uh, certainly there is a great need for this. And there is a need for uh, other roles that I cannot think right now of them. But, but yeah, uh, DeFi protocols need security audits. They need um, uh, deployment script security audits. They need uh, upgrade security audits when they do uh, code upgrades. They need a lot of things around this, so they do things securely and properly. Uh, so yeah, this this sector, this business of uh, security people in Web3 will grow a lot, certainly. It there will evolve a, a lot, for sure. Yeah, yeah, in the whole life cycle of a project. And this, the money stake is more than traditional cybersecurity. So I'm sure that these professions will evolve in the space.